Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, The Vow to Be 3 Tarot, she's reading you as well. And I will go ahead and leave the timestamps again in the description below, in case you want to kind of hop around and cross-reference or check each other. But let's get started. Hello Aries, let's see what's going on. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I don't know what that's about, but right away what they're showing me, it, there, there is this kind of resistance to whatever their situation is kind of putting them through or with just their overall position or status. Um, Whatever this is, there's quite a bit of anxiety for them to kind of transition or make some sort of change or even kind of lean towards the energy of acceptance about this. I don't know what this is about. They're ultimately showing me that they feel psychologically like they're out of their element. They are going through some sort of change or shift, but even then they're like, mm, very outsider besides themselves. Oh, goodness. Okay, so this is, oh, oh goodness. This is in, this is something between the two of you. This is something between the two of you. There definitely is some sort of collaborative energy or working together energy with the two of you, but it's almost the equivalent of they're like, do I really want to do this? Do I really not want to do this? Do I do I really have to do this? Um, ultimately, this definitely is some sort of new start with the two of you, but there's so much for them to kind of contemplate and think about that. It's almost kind of like, well, they're in it. They're moving forward with it with you, but. Mm. Okay. Well, I was going to say, there the two of you are. Yeah. Interesting. Um. It almost, how do I say this? It almost seems and feels as if there is this comforting, nurturing energy attached to this some type of way, but it's it's more so an energy of like, there is definitely something kind of, uh, in a sense, blossoming or coming from this for the sake of both of you, but I feel like whatever that is, it's definitely putting you on the both on the same page. Okay, so something's definitely working out. Yeah, it's putting you on the same page. <laughs> that's quite interesting um oh goodness gracious though i don't know what that's about you're on the same page with each other but it's almost like um there's a little bit of a flip-flop it's like when one person's ready to kind of work the other person's not and then when one person's ready to work the other person's not i don't know what that's about and it's, what's interesting is it is creating the sense of balance between the two of you, but ultimately they're kind of saying, um, the longer they sit with the emotional energy regarding this, the more kind of disappointing it is. And that's interesting. There could be children or kids involved in this some type of way. Um, oh, goodness gracious, who is that? What is that about? What what is that about, or who is that about? It almost there. There's someone on the side. Who someone has someone on the side, and I don't know what that's about. And I feel like they're having this realization as well. On top of all this, um, goodness gracious, and it's almost like, um, but what about them? So I, I kind of feel like this is one of those situations where whether this is a collaborative energy between you and someone, because you're not necessarily showing me some sort of connection or relationship with the two of you. You're showing me a collaborative energy, but there's someone else on the side in a sense. This is some type of 
it's, it's interesting. It's like a love triangle without the love. Excuse me, but whoever is on the side over here, they're definitely having some sort of realization about this, Aries. But even they're needing a little bit of time to kind of sit with themselves and figure out where they're truly at with this and what they truly want to do regarding their future. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. And then insert a fourth person or fourth energy. Goodness gracious. Um, talk about confusing. They're, they're focused on right now. They're wanting to, how do I say this? They're wanting to be the center of attention. They're, they're wanting to be the center of attention. And it's almost like as soon as they get the center of attention, as soon as they get the spotlight on them, immediately they're kind of like, okay, now put your game face on. Immediately. This is like, who's fighting for whose attention in this position? Um, I don't know. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, an earth sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to push this right away. So he's right back into it, I wondered. Right back into it. Right now, Sagittarius, they're showing me that they definitely are on the right track to kind of putting things back in order for themselves and kind of clearing the air of some sort. But I feel like this does feel like a financial endeavor. It seems like as soon as it, unfortunately, it seems like as soon as they get things back on track and rolling in a good direction again, they're working on building something on top of what they've currently already got going on for themselves. And immediately they're wanting to work with this as quickly as possible to kind of make some shifts, make some changes. But immediately following this, they're kind of taken back by it to kind of like readdress this, reassess things. And ultimately they're kind of like, what's happening? Where It's like, it's like they're on the lookout for some sort of growth or some sort of change in a positive direction but they're kind of like not seeing it. They're not seeing it. It's like um, getting something back on track and then boop, it hops back off track. And it's like, okay, well, what's going on here? Something's just not sticking. And there you are, Sagittarius. Goodness, it almost, geez, it almost seems and feels like, are they going to choose you if this is something between the two of you? But it definitely has, like, again, that financial work endeavor energy attached to it. Um, it once again, they're showing me that they're trying to come up with some sort of plan or some sort of idea or kind of map this out for themselves. But ultimately, they're kind of like, do I want to move forward with this or do I not? Do I want to move forward with Sagittarius or do I not? They, they definitely have some sort of decision here to kind of commit themselves to, but... Even they're sitting with it and buying their time. Like, did they choose this or not? A lot of energy of buying their time. There it is. Yeah, and like I said, it's an energy of you. Are they choosing you or not? Um, I feel like initially they are, but for some reason they're buying their time with wanting to express to you something. It's almost the equivalent of like, okay, they're, they're ready to kind of like, I don't know what this is. They're ready to come around and finally put in work and effort towards this, like more work, more effort. Cause there definitely is some sort of collaborative energy here between the two of you. But that's what's very fascinating is they're like, okay, well, because I tried to kind of take this on and handle this myself and, and I'm not going to say it, they failed. Um, 
It just seems like they need a helping hand. <laughs> yeah, they're, geez Louise. They're trying to keep it together. They're trying to keep it together, but they're stressing. Well, why? They're showing me very sharp and very intellectual, but they're stressing beneath the surface. It's almost like now that things are rolling in in motion, the two of you are focused on something together. It's like, okay, here it goes. It's like, what? <laughs> Put your game face on, yeah. Put your game face on. There's something here going on that they're, it's like, not having a positive effect. Yeah, not having a positive effect. I don't understand that. Um, as, soon, as soon as the both of you are working on and focusing on something together, they show me right away, I'm sharp, I'm clear, I'm ready for this. And then it's like, they're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. And whatever's going on, it's like they're having to kind of like pick themselves back up and figure out like, okay, kind of like control yourself, contain yourself, um, pull yourself together, literally. I don't know what that's about, but even they're needing to take some time to themselves to kind of figure out and address those, in a sense, address and acknowledge themselves as to what they're what they're going through, what they're feeling, what they're experiencing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign. And that's it. Bye. Hello, Leo. Let's see what's going on. Goodness. Um, well, right away, Leo, they're definitely is showing me and presenting me that connection between the two of you, which is a little bit interesting because I kind of, I'm, I'm getting a little into, I'm getting a very interesting and, and like antsy energy about this. And I don't know why it's like, sometimes I'll notice I energetically stutter. Um, and I'm not a, I don't stutter, but it's almost the energy, like getting kind of tripped up between my mind, my thoughts and my communication. I almost kind of feel like this is what's happening for them. Whatever this connection relationship is, whether it's friendship, whether it's romance, whether it is a relationship, I don't exactly know yet. They're showing me that there's quite a bit here to emotionally sit with. Um, and it's not an energy of like, oh, butterflies and my heart is sputtering and that sort of thing. It, it's an energy of, how do I say this? They're very peculiar, very particular and very peculiar. If that's a word, I think it is, but I'll have to look it up. Could be wrong. It's almost as if they are trying to fully understand, grasp, and, and acknowledge like where they truly are in, the, in a sense, the emotional standing of this connection with the two of you. It's like, are they happy? Are they fulfilled? Is this what they want? Is it not what they want? They just don't know. They need a little bit more time. Um, Sounds like it. Sounds like they need a little bit more time to themselves to kind of sit with it. Whoa, okay. Um, meanwhile, give them a little bit. They always say that they are definitely on the right track. And so, so it's kind of like saying, Whatever these emotions and feelings are regarding the two of you, they're supposed to be acknowledging this and sitting with this a little bit longer. Um, side note though, something financially is working out for them. I, I kind of feel like there is some sort of recognition for some type of works or efforts that they are putting in. And it's almost like as time goes on, they're pretty much happy and fulfilled with that. And so what they're saying is relationship connection, I don't know. Money and finances, they absolutely know. And so there's the difference. Um, so whatever this connection is, it could be something regarding work, finances, and investments. There you are, Leo, by the way. 
Um, and unfortunately, there also is some sort of financial opportunity attached to you. If you notice the similarities here in the cards even, look at the sun and look at the hands from the sun. Signs and synchronicities. There's somehow, and I have to point that out, there's somehow seeing you, Leo, as a financial opportunity. There's the player energy to go with it. I can't help it but call it out. I call it how I see it. Um, they're like, yeah, I'm very happy because this kind of leads into more financial opportunities. Now let me kind of just move forward with this. I feel pretty passionate and ready to go about that. Gemini energy showing up immediately after. Um, <laughs> scratch that the cat is out of the bag scratch that um they wanted to move and, and, oh goodness gracious um they wanted to move forward with this and immediately there's definitely already something not working out and i almost kind of feel like whether that was the opportunity or not that they're like running with it seems to feel like it was and then all of a sudden it's like mm, nope they're having to accept something here, just not being it or not working out. They're possibly going to let it go. Was it something I said? Yeah, there's the world. They're having to let it go. It might have been something I said. Maybe the cat wasn't supposed to be let out of the bag. I don't know. <laughs> or was it? Yeah, or was it? They're... Um, Whatever this shift or experiences that they're going through, it's a, it's a brutal wake-up call. That's what that is, Leo. It's a brutal wake-up call. And it's kind of like, and you're doing something you probably should be doing, even though you're on track. Um, you let money and finances get in the way. Unfortunately, there's that wake-up call to go with it. And they're kind of like, well, then fine, then I'm done with this. Let that be over with. Let me kind of focus on everything I've got going on for myself. And in a sense, what little I have left to focus on. And it's like, goodness gracious, talk about kind of picking up the pieces and moving on. Um, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, a water sign. And that's all. Hello, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. now Gemini they definitely have a lot going on for themselves and I kind of feel as if whatever is going on um they're definitely keeping close watch and observation about this at the same time they are taken back by a little bit because they are wanting to in a sense kind of um, perceive or look at something completely different excuse me they're, they're kind of like saying um hold the horses and let's not move forward quite yet let me look at something real quick It's regarding what they got, I was going to say, it's regarding what they got going on for themselves. Okay, this is possibly, let's see. Yeah, this is possibly regarding their work, their career, um, their line of work, that sort of thing. Something financially is working out for them, which is nice because it does show up that it adds to the stability and the security of everything they got going on. Um, it's work, it's work energy, but they're also having some type of realization about this at the exact same time. In a sense, they're kind of putting things together for themselves. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, they're saying every, geez, every piece counts. Every, every, every detail and every piece counts to the overall bigger picture of what they're wanting to accomplish. Um, I feel as if they have very strong, a very strong desire to focus on their future and create stability, security, overall possibly a living situation for themselves, but I'm not necessarily feeling or sensing that. 
It's just an energy of they want a strong foundation. They want a strong future to where they're very comfortable and fulfilled with it. There's definitely, geez, I don't know if they're planning for that or not, but there's definitely some sort of financial opportunity here that they want to talk to you and discuss. Um, interesting. I don't know what that's about. What they're kind of saying is it, it's it's some sort of opportunity to kind of put their mind at ease, but I feel like it's more so the communication, the talk about it that puts their mind at ease. They're trying to feel out if there's something there and I kind of feel like with you or not, but... Okay. Goodness gracious. That is... Uh, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Um, yeah, I don't understand that. I don't believe it. Um, drink responsibly, though. Whatever this talk of this discussion is, I feel like they are sitting with their emotions about this. And it seems and feels like a good idea initially. And then there's like this movement and this progression forward to have some sort of, it's, it's almost like a job opportunity or something of that sort. Because there's a lot of excitement looking forward to this and they are wanting to move forward with it. At the same time, it's almost the equivalent of like, yeah, this is exciting, this is fun. And then it's like, no, it's not, it really isn't. Um, it's the highs and lows of the emotional energy. It's the highs and lows. It's like, yeah, I'm excited to do it. And then it's like, no, I had to do it. It's like, okay. Some sort of collaborative energy between the two of you. Whew, goodness gracious. Yeah, there's something going on there between the two of you. It almost sounds like the two of you are kind of like business partners. Um, yeah, and I believe so. You guys are showing up in a very similar energy with everything you got going on. Um, they're showing me that they want to make the best out of this opportunity with you at the same time it's it's the equivalent of trying to make light of a situation that's not very light they're even saying that even after the collaborative energy between the two of you they need to spend a lot of time focusing on themselves and self-awareness because there's something internally that they're still processing about the two of you don't know what that's about but of course if you are dealing with anyone you could be dealing with an air sign a water sign an earth sign and that is all Hello Aquarius, let's see what's going on. energy um this is a nice energy of them saying okay okay i know there's not much left to kind of think about regarding this all i know is that there are some things that i need to kind of do and take care of there are some changes i need to make to kind of deal with whatever responsibilities or tasks i do have at hand nice it's an overall energy of acceptance of responsibility and what you got to do Okay, so right away, it's like taking care of this, taking care of that. There definitely is this forward mindset and focus. But um, whatever this is about, like, moving forward from this, there's definitely some sort of communication or contact between the two of you that I definitely feel like there's something a lot to be talked about and a lot of, to be discussed as well as a lot to go over in order for things to kind of feel like, okay, are you on board? Am I on board? Are we on board with whatever we are moving forward towards? Goodness, what is that? This could be something, geez, this almost sounds and feels like something around the house, like taking care of things around the house. Um, 
it definitely is for the sake of stability, some sort of foundation, or maybe it is a living situation, but maybe you guys are moving or relocating. I don't exactly know, but whatever this is, there's a lot for, once again, there's a lot there to process for them. I don't know what that's about. It almost seems and feels like after this talk or after this discussion, it brings up quite a bit. It's almost like there's a little bit of energetic and emotional backtracking that they're trying to kind of like sit with and contemplate over. But I feel like for them, they're trying to figure out if they're 100% are truly in alignment with what's going on, whether it be a living situation or whether it be the discussion between the two of you. Oh, it's something about the two of you. Wow, goodness gracious. Yeah, it's something about the two of you. Um, goodness, if that's a living situation, that is definitely a living situation. That is for sure. They're, they're pretty much saying they need some time alone to sort through some things personally. Um, a lot of this energy is a lot of contemplation, a lot of reflection. Excuse me, about to burp. But they're trying to piece together literally everything regarding the commitment, relationship, or marriage between the two of you. They're saying that whatever is going on, um, even though it does show up in a nice energy still, it's almost like they're, they're trying to work with the situation, the circumstances to make the best out of the situation. But overall, it, it once again, it, it starts off with that energy of, surrendering and acceptance and, and like trying to be okay with it but it's the connection relationship or marriage <clears throat> Ooh, what is that what is that um This is interesting. There's so much uncertainty about the change of the shift. But whatever this is that they are working on and putting together for themselves, it's like there's new love there, but... Yeah, there it is. There's that. Um, there could be, you know, kids and children involved in this somehow. If this is some sort of marriage, I feel like it is. Um... Goodness gracious, though. They're sitting with it. They're sitting with it. Whatever this is that they are putting together and working with, um, it definitely feels like there's a lot of love there. At the same time, it's kind of like, okay, well, what's, what's moving forward? I don't exactly know, but things are progressing in such a way where they're kind of like, I just want to sit back and see what happens or see how this unfolds first um, before doing anything else. And I don't know what that's about. It, it's almost like they get to this point of some sort of change takes place for them. Then all of a sudden there's like these new emotions and feelings. And it's like, for what or for who, I don't exactly know. And they're not even showing me. They're just like, we'll see. And it's like, okay, well, I guess we'll see. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, it could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign, an earth sign. And that is all. Hello, Libra. Let's see what's going on. is some sort of connection or relationship here between the two of you um okay i don't exactly know what is going on but i definitely see that they're definitely trying to kind of like take it easy rest recover they are more so focused on stability security what they got going on the connection between the two of you definitely is on their mind and ultimately what they're saying is they're, they're holding it's interesting because they're holding on to it um but I kind of feel like with everything that they got going on, it's like they're more so focused on their priority of money or finances and security. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, there you are. Interesting. Huh. Very interesting. Um... I have to say, it feels like they're holding on to the connection between the two of you because of financial reasons. Even they, even though they do show me that there is some sort of um, financial abundance kind of like growing from this. I don't exactly know what that's about or how that's kind of like taking place. But um, there is a strong consideration of because of money and because of money reasons, literally. They're not too sure exactly how they want to spend their time, energy, or resources. But ultimately, they're kind of like watching things progress, whether it's between the two of you or whether it's regarding their situation financially, they're coming to some sort of conclusion as to what they truly want to do. They're like very passive with this, but... Hmm. Once again, what is that? That's the second time I've seen that energy. I'm gonna push this right away. Yeah, it's almost like they have to they have to look at their decisions differently. That's fascinating. It's like they, they make that decision and they move forward with it, but it's almost like they're having to kind of like readdress and re-acknowledge everything that's going on first to figure out what to actually truly do with it and what to do about it. It's almost the equivalent of again that fi that financial connection between the two of you. They're saying that they have so much abundance and growth here at the same time, they're also kind of showing me like um, it doesn't feel necessarily like it's enough. Like it's, I'm not going to say like it's never enough, but it just doesn't feel like it's enough for them. Cause they're showing that there may have been some sort of huge financial loss or difficulty or possibly even hit, um, that took place. But overall, once again, the energy that I'm talking about is some sort of, some sort of difficulty with their vision. I believe I said this a little while ago, quite a while ago, maybe, but, um, difficulty with creating for themselves. And so because of that, it's like they have some sort of vision in mind, but it's almost as if they kind of have to like bring you, bring you on with them or bring them or bring you on with them on regarding some sort of design or some sort of idea of what they're wanting to move forward with. But that's what's interesting is they're almost having to kind of like try and figure out like how to bring you, how to bring this up to you or how to bring you onto this plan or this idea. I don't know what this is about. It's almost like they want to. It's like they want to. They want to bring you into the loop or something. Goodness gracious! Um, I don't know what that's about. That's fascinating. They're they're trying. It's interesting. They're trying to play this cool. They're trying to play it cool, but deep down, it's like. Um, what is that? It, how do I say this? It feels like, I don't understand that. It feels like someone is competing. It feels like multiple, how do I say that? It feels like multiple pinches. It feels like multiple people are trying to compete for your attention or compete to try and bring you on to some sort of project or some sort of vision or some sort of plan. But they themselves are like responding in such a way where it's like, um, I don't understand that. It almost has this energetic comparison attached to it. And I'm like, I don't know how to explain that. Um, you know, people comparing people, it's like, that's like a game of egos or something. But of course, if you are dealing with someone or anyone, you are, you could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign, an earth sign. And that is all. Hello, Cancer. Let's see what's going on.
Hold on. All right. Wow. Lots to contemplate. Lots to contemplate with this. Let me kind of push this right away. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse me. Okay. And there you are on top of the deck. What they're showing me is lots to contemplate, yes, but they're also, because of their situation beginning to speed up here, they're having to <laughs> they're having to think fast, act quick, and move with this momentum. I don't know what this is about, but it seems and feels like kind of like riding a wave of some sort of momentum. Overall, the way that things are moving, there definitely is some sort of new love here, kind of like being created from this. But what's interesting is it almost seems and feels like the way they are pursuing this, whatever this endeavor is, it feels like some sort of like pursuing the paycheck but for some reason it's almost like when it gets closer and closer to their grasp or their reach um that's when that emotional energy kind of like takes over that's interesting um I'm doing something for money and security but i'm not quite understanding that that the yeah the way they're responding to it like there's no, there's nothing I guess there's nothing wrong with loving money but for some reason it's almost like now that they got it they're like confused as to what to do with it I don't know what that's about um, like they're trying to utilize this in such a way where they actually feel confident with it I I, I kind of feel like that whoever this person is that you're asking about cancer. Um, I feel like it's regarding money management, if I'm being honest. It feels like money management. Like, I don't know if it's their energy of like careless with money, careless with handling money and what this is about, but. It's like they're showing me that they're confident to get money, but what to do with it. There's something going on between the two of you. I don't know what that's about. Interesting. Is, it, is this really going in that direction? I'm going to push this real quick. Yeah, I was going to say, I push it just a little bit and there you are, cancer, popping out. Um, mm. this is what that's about that's what I thought I'm like what's going on here um, romantically speaking, there is definitely something going on between the two of you, but right away what they're kind of showing me is this overall energy of love at the initial beginning of this. It's like, it starts off showing up as like financial and then it kind of turns into something different and it's like, okay, here, it's taking that direction. Um, they're, I'll just say it this way. They're willing to take, but they're a bit hesitant to give back. If you follow my drift. But what's interesting about this is it's, it's the equivalent of they feel like there's new love here between the two of you. They feel like there's new passion here between the two of you. Um, at the same time, it's like, it, it's one, I gotta be honest, it's one of those situations where it does have the energy of like one and done. And then it's just kind of like, okay, that's over with, whatever. Um, it, it definitely shows up with the energy like, conflicted on the other side of this 
like oh yeah it's great it was happy you know good times fun times whatever and then it's like afterwards it's like well moving forward nope not actually they're conflicted yeah they're they're deeply conflicted it's like they, they show me this energy of um yeah they're they're conflicted that's what i was wondering and it's like they're having to relook at this all over again and it's like that's what i thought um put your game face on they don't know where they're at emotionally they don't they're showing me that they're willing to go through the actions, but emotionally speaking, it's almost like um, they're not fully 100% there yet. I don't know what this connection is or what's going on, but of course you are dealing with anyone who could be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign. Hello, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. There's a lot of consideration here as to what action they want to kind of take moving forward. I do see that there is a little bit of comparison as to where they are, where they've been, what they've done, and where they kind of want to be. They're definitely taking action to make changes, though. So they're working with something here that's familiar to them. Oh, goodness. Yeah, try, try again. Um, try, try again. It's almost as if whatever these changes are that they are making and moving forward with, they're, they're kind of saying that they're amounting or resulting in nothing. It's almost like they didn't get much further than where they currently were. They're trying to strongly consider like how to get to their future and where you know what steps to take regarding that. But for some reason, they seem to be put on pause regarding something. And they're on the, in a sense, they're waiting on the lookout. I kind of feel like they're buying their time here to kind of see if anything actually truly changes or not. Jeez, well, they know what I was going to say. They know what they're going after. They're kind of like saying, is it truly, is it truly going to be that way? Or is it, okay, no. I feel like they're dropping that and putting that behind them. And ultimately what they're saying is they want to consider new options and possibilities because they definitely know what's on their mind and what their goal or their aim is. And that's just overall abundant success and status. Okay. Money. Yeah, money. They got money on their mind. <laughs> Clearly. Um, wow. Interesting. Um, hmm. Dude, it's a, how do I say this? It's almost like they get a little bit of an energetic high from it. Like literally financial supply. They, they get a little bit of energetic high from this. So much so that they're kind of like, okay, I need to kind of like calm myself down. And it's like, okay. A lot of excitement, but at the same time, they're like this, you know, this emotionally feels good, but. Oh, there it is. But I was kind of wondering. Like you're taking some time to yourself, but how's that going? <laughs> They're like, it's going well, actually. And I'm like, okay, it is going well. Then what are you battling yourself about then? <laughs> um, it's almost the equivalent of them kind of like basking in their glory. And all of a sudden it's kind of like, okay, well, they sat with themselves a little bit. And then right back into the same rep rep repetitious you know, cycle of trying to kind of like maintain what they've accomplished or their status. Lots to think about, lots to contemplate, once again. Ooh, okay. I'm looking at 777. Interesting. They're, they're definitely on the right track, though, given that. 
Um, but they're also very guarded and very tired and exhausted. Again, it's that it's that repetitious energy. It's like got to do something again, got to do something again, got to figure this out again, got to do this again. Um, they could be an entrepreneur of some sort, but. Yep, right back into the same cycle. Um, it's like, now what? Now what to do moving forward? Well, because this is beginning to energetically take its toll on them, um, I feel like, how do I say this? There is a little bit of energy here about beating oneself up. It's kind of like putting, in a sense, putting yourself through the ringer for what you do. Some people say, I love hard work. I love the, let's just say, the bounty of what I accomplish and what I pull off for myself. Um, good for you, but you're also showing me this energy of like this drive and this passion, this fire for this. It's almost like you're burning yourself out faster than, you know, it's an energy of you can burn, burn hot, burn bright for a short time or have a controlled flame and burn for a long time. They're showing me that it's getting to them. It's getting to them so much to the point where it's causing so much anxiety, where they're having to once again, readdress their emotional state of being because for some reason, this energy of like impending doom is beginning to pick up a pace here. So repetition, 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 repetition can possibly lead to burnout. But of course, if you are dealing with anything, we could be dealing with a earth sign, a water sign, or a fire sign. Hello, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Jeez, okay. Let's see. Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> Ooh, goodness. Goodness. Um well, literally as I said the comment like difficult, you're like got that right. Um Wow. Yeah, that's something. Um, I'm not going to say losing grasp or losing touch with reality or, you know, make it that extreme or dramatic, but they're showing me that right away they do have some type of accomplishment or status under their belt, which I do see it is immediately taking its toll on them so much so to the point where energetically even speaking, it's almost like they kind of have to just drag themselves up and out of bed to kind of get going. You are Pisces. Hmm. Interesting. Why that? Um, I'm going to push this right away. Interesting. What's that about? Um, I have to say this and call this out, Pisces. Whoever you're dealing with, or possibly whoever you're asking about, um, it seems and feels like they're somehow in your, your similar workspace or your work environment. I don't know how or what is going on, because there is definitely, so far it shows up as in... Um, they're, yes, in one sense, they're trying to figure out what to do regarding themselves and their situation financially. At the same time, it's like the equivalent of, again, it's almost like they're having to consciously make that decision. Like, okay, I'm going to figure this out today. I'm going to decide to kind of like do this. Um, I have to call it as I see it. It seems and feels like they're studying you in some type of way. It's, it's the equivalent of there you are. They're keeping tabs. They're keeping track of you. And they're trying to kind of like have their situation progress and move forward for them. There's two different Pisces here. <laughs> There's two different Pisces energies. So once again, Pisces, um, whoever wants to, you know, whoever wants to kind of take the spotlight, I, I really don't care at this point. 
Um, but I feel like whatever their responsibilities or their endeavors are, they're definitely in this energy of like, once again, progression and movement forward, but even they themselves, the longer they sit with this, whether they're studying you or whether they're trying to figure this out on their own, which I feel like they're studying you though, um, they're not too sure exactly where they're at with this and what action to kind of take. It almost seems it feels like they're having to sit with themselves a little bit longer to build up that confidence to take energy, to, to literally to take energy. Uh, maybe they're siphoning energy, I don't know. But to take action on some sort of vision that they do have in mind, and it's almost the equivalent of there's light at the end of the tunnel, um, but it's almost like they kind of have to get themselves there first. Okay, and so I do see that one Pisces is taking over. <laughs> By the way, I do appreciate it. <laughs> Just because I was sensing the other one, and I'm like, mm, I see where this is going, and it's kind of like, see your way out. Honestly, see your way out. There are people who, I understand that like everyone's life and situation is important, um, but when it comes to energetic games, especially at a time like this where I'm seeing everything going on, um, we're talking about a Pisces who's like doing with someone that's trying to steal from them pretty much ideas, gain. It's not even about inspiration at this point. It's just an energy of studying someone to kind of like figure out themselves. Then there's another Pisces energy that's dealing with someone in a living situation where there's children and kids involved. And it's like, I'm not going to say who's more important, but when it comes to someone stealing from someone in a workplace, it's someone doing with their home life. It's the equivalent of like, hmm. Someone needs to grow up. Someone needs to mature a little bit. And I feel like whatever's going on, the Pisces that is dealing with someone in their home life or home living situation, that's the one that I'm like, appreciate it. Because I feel like that's more important than trying to steal some, steal some, can't even say it, steal from someone at work. It's like, come on now, do your own work, do your own studies. I understand you learn from other people. At the same time, it's like, Teach yourself, you know? It's like, put your put your own work into it. Blood, sweat, and tears. Not, let me just kind of like copy or cheat off of someone. Um, regarding the living situation, I do see that even though there is a lot of happiness to create this energy of stability between the two of you, there are a lot of more changes moving forward to make. Yeah, they're, they're definitely working on something and there's some sort of communication or contact between the two of you taking place to just, it's like something is like being done with or closed up or just finished. It's like, you know what, just, just let it go. Um, of course, if you are dealing with anyone Pisces, you could be dealing with a, possibly another Pisces, uh, water sign, air sign, fire sign, and that is all. Hello, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. Figure out what you want to do. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like they're not too sure exactly what they want to do. Initially, they're showing me there's a lot here to sit with and contemplate. Um, hmm. Interesting. It almost seems and feels as if, like, are they confident truly or are they not confident truly? It seems like they have to work themselves up to that energy of being confident to just take direct action and put effort in towards something. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice energy. We'll go with it. I'm going to push this a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. Where's this going? Pushy. Real pushy. Um... Real pushy. It's like leaning on leaning on someone for something to go their way. 
Um, they're definitely putting in so much effort towards creating their own opportunity. But whatever this is, it definitely has like a new job or new career line of work attached to it because it, there is this energy as well of acceptance and leaning in towards this. But like I said, it's an energy of like leaning on someone to muscle them. Um, there's definitely some sort of communication or contact here between the two of you, but immediately they're, what, they're ultimately kind of saying there are problems, issues that need to be addressed. And because of these problems, they're becoming quite defensive. Like I said, they're becoming quite defensive about this. Even though things are progressing for them, it's like, okay, but you're kind of, in a sense, forcing something a tad bit, but we'll see. Oh, geez, yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. They're, they're they're learning something. I will say it that way. Life is teaching them something here. This is this is fascinating. It's almost like um, if that's not your field, if that's not your niche, if that's not your content, that's not your content. If that's not your life or path to walk, it's not. Um, even though they are having this realization that like something is aligning with what they want, and what they desire, they're having to kind of like work with the situation, the circumstances at the same time. And that's what I was kind of wondering. It's like, are you, are you meant for this? Are you cut out for this? Or are you not? And right there, there's the, there's the questioning right there that I was talking about. Hello, little wizard. Um, ooh, goodness, 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 goodness. It's like a little bit of a roller coaster. It's like, wee. Okay, wee. They don't know. Whatever this is that they have, that whatever this plan is that they're putting together, even they're like, they don't even know where they're at with it. They show me one second, like, I'm happy with it. They're working on it, and then they're like, am I happy with it? Like, very just, you're quick-witted, but you're also, like, very kind of slow with yourself. I'm just going to call it. You're very slow with yourself. You're moving so fast that it's like, do you process what you're doing as you're doing it? Do you process what you're saying as you say it? Do you think about it beforehand or do you just kind of like move forward with it because you think you're so sure of yourself and then you find out that you're not so sure of yourself because now they're trying to get control of themselves regarding what they're creating. It's all, yeah, it's almost like uh, get a grip, get a grip. Right back at it. They're like, I do. This is fascinating. It's like they want to go back and forth with me. Um, they have some sort of grand vision in mind. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm not sensing anything too dark or cultish or let's just say mystical from it. But even that, they're like, is this the path or direction I want to take or is it not? Well, I'm choosing something. Look at this. I'm choosing something that I feel good about emotionally at initial because they do have some sort of care for it. And then moving forward a little bit secondhand later, they're like, well, Actually, I'm not too sure how I feel about it anymore. And it's like, okay, around and around you go. Spin your circle, spin your wheels. Do see do. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, it could be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Hello, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Just a little bit right away. Excuse me. Wow, just like that. Just like that. Um, how does that make sense? Unless. It's a little bit contradicting, but you know, it is a little bit of bittersweet energy. But what they're showing me right now, Taurus, is finances are very difficult and tight for them. 
But overall, there are some sort of new emotions and feelings of love regarding something. And I don't exactly know what this is. Things are in the process of like setting themselves straight or making themselves right. But it almost feels like karma. It's almost the equivalent of whatever this new emotion or feeling of love is. It gives them a sense of clarity, but that clarity in and of itself creates disappointment. And it's almost like they themselves have a guilty conscience about this. And they're trying to figure out what needs to be done now moving forward. Yet at the same time, they're so taken back by this that they're kind of like, um, I need to step it up a notch and figure out what to do. Whoa. Drink responsibly. Immediately, their first initial instinct is to communicate or talk to you about this kind of like, it's interesting. Goodness, how does that make sense? Um, let's have a party. Let's have a get together. And let's have some sort of event. That'll kind of like make everything happy again. It's like, oh, what? What is that about? Hmm. Sure. Sure. Have you ever played that card game bullshit? Goodness gracious, that's what they're showing me right now. It's like, no, I, I'm going to have to call it. They're showing me this energy of happiness, excitement, good times, fun times. Um, so much happiness, so much fulfillment. It's the energy of like, you know, drink responsibly. Um, I'm happy. I love everything. Everything's great. Everything's good. If that's the case, then why does it seem like a band-aid for a much bigger issue? They're showing me, it's like, yeah, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, fingers crossed, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. Um, now about the living situation, I don't know what to think about that. I'm sure it's like, I'm, I don't know where things are going. I don't know about stability or security, but. It's almost like they're having a, jeez, a whiz. They're having a second guess. They're having a second guess themselves. Ooh, heads up, Taurus. Heads up. Um, wow. I'm going to push this again right away just because I'm a little curious myself. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um... Because, how do I say this? Because of, this could go one or two ways. They're taken back by the living situation between the two of you so much so where they're trying to purposely create, let's just say, I don't know if this is sabotage or what this is about or a switcheroo or, um, or a bait and switch, however you want to refer to it as. They definitely have some sort of vision in mind of what they want to create and manifest for themselves. And initially, it starts off with some sort of communication or contact between the two of you about something that's just no longer working out. Whatever that is that's not working out, they're needing more time to themselves to figure out where they're truly at mentally and emotionally. And they are having, once again, some sort of, again, right back into it. They're having some sort of moment about either new passion, new beginning, or possibly creativity. But again, there's like that guilty conscience kicking in again. Again, it's like... Um, And there it is. There it is. It's as if the writing's not on the wall. Um, they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. They're like, well, what are my options? What are my options? What are my options? I don't know. Let me kind of just sit back and figure out what I kind of do, how things are progressing. Okay, now let me kind of take care of what I can take care of. And it's like, goodness gracious, what is this new love? And what is this new passion that they are stressing out about. Because something's clearly going on over here between the two of you. Don't know. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. Hello, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. You too, huh? I believe it was, who was it? Uh, 
I forget. Let's see. Someone else's energy showed up very similar to this, and I'm like, hmm. Very difficult. Very difficult energy. Okay, I'm going to push this right away, Virgo. Huh. Oh, goodness gracious. What are you doing? I kind of feel like they're not too sure what they're doing. Um, right away, there's a lot of disappointment. I feel like because of this, they're having to kind of tread cautiously in a sense before they actually move forward and kind of consider what plans or ideas or possibly even communication they want to move forward with. Even though it seems and feels like things are progressing for them, um, a lot of this focuses in some sort of vision that they have for themselves. Okay. So what they're saying is they're aiming real high regarding some sort of financial endeavor or pursuit. Okay, so that's what they're doing. Um, okay, so they're wanting to make a... Okay, that's a bold move, but... Oh, yeah. Now, what's that about? Whoa. Interesting. Um, what is that about? They open up some sort of financial opportunity for themselves and immediately things are kind of like picking up speed here. But right away, it's like they're having to kind of like stay on top of this and stay ahead of this. But I'm not too sure because their energy is telling me they're willing to keep up with this. But them trying to energetically keep up with this, they're becoming defensive. And I don't understand that. It's almost like someone who's like, trying to, in a sense, put their foot down or lay down the law. And there's some sort of communication between the two of you. And it's like, who who made you sheriff around here? It's like, like what? And they go from that energy to that energy. And it's like, wow. So, uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Like they're a new sheriff in town, or what is this? Someone's trying to strong arm someone. Um, yeah, it's almost like they're, they're wanting to talk to you and communicate to you about this. At the same time, it's like they're, they're trying to bring something back that is like more happy and more exciting and more fulfilling when things were like better. But it's, it's more so an energy of comparison between the two of what's been opened up for them with, in a sense, how things are, you know, in a sense, moving forward, what they feel about it. Like, do you think this could be as good as that back then or not? And then they're having this realization of like, maybe there's more to contemplate. Maybe there's more to think about. Ooh, it's regarding the connection between the two of you. Whoa, not a happy camper, huh? Clearly not. There's some sort of gossip, battle, conflict. Yeah, not a happy camper. Um, what is going on? You guys are clearly not on the same page. You guys are clearly not on the same page. This is someone that's like, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. And it's like, okay. But then even when it comes to the connection, it's almost like whatever this, this financial, how do I say this? This financial opportunity is getting in the way of the connection between the two of you so much to the point where it's kind of like causing this rift or this split or this tear down the middle between the two of you to where even they're kind of like, they're having to play it cool and take some time with themselves, but even they're still in conflict with themselves about this connection. Sure, sure. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> and I knew it. I don't believe it. They show me one second, like, no, three of cups, everything's great, everything's fine between us. It's like, let's just go out, let's have a party, let's have an event or a gathering. And it's like, yeah, well, what happened then? What happened then? Because that overall energy of like, let me just kind of drink it up, live it up, have an exciting, fun, fast time. Um, you're masking something. 
that's an energy of whether the two of you are under the same roof or a living situation together, um, or there is in so much conflict about the connection between the two of you that they just want to be left alone. I don't know, but it is an overall energy of they're masking something through alcohol or drinking. Drink responsibly, by the way. Um, unless there's a third party energy here, in a sense, a love triangle going on between you, someone, and someone, possibly, um, there's that. It's the equivalent of, well, let's all get together and have a fun time. And it's like, clearly, it's not a fun time because someone's very aware of themselves and the situation and they're acknowledging how the whole situation is affecting them as well as the connection between them and them and them. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone here, Virgo, um, you could be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign. Hmm. And that is all.